Hey everybody, so one of the things I hate doing, giving our Great Dane a bath. So those of you that know, know a lot about Great Danes, Great Danes are very big dogs. I think ours weighs about 160 pounds. He's only three years old, but uh, it's a one hour long project from cleaning out his room, spraying down his bed, and then going outside and giving him a bath and then expressing his anal gland. And we're gonna talk about all that craziness starting right now. So this is Duke's room, something I built off the garage. And as you can see inside his room, on the wall there is a invisible fence. We had to get the industrial sized one because uh, initially when we first moved in here, the little cheap PetSmart one was not working for him. So anyway, this is his room. He has his own doggy door that I cut into the side of the house so he can come and go. And if you look at this wall here, on the other side of this wall, this actually used to be part of the garage. On the other side of this wall is a bathroom. So what I did was I enclosed it. Let me show you real quick. So if you can look here, you can see like this squared off area that's built. So this I actually built, so I enclosed it so that there is a bathroom on the other side. So let me show you here. So this is where the bathroom is located. So this would be the opposite side of his room. So basically what I did was I made this part, part of the house. And if you see the vent there, the heat from the house that's in this bathroom actually flows through that vent and keeps his side of the room warm and actually cool in the summertime. So going back over here, so like I said, so this is the other vent. So basically I just made it, I took a big, very big room and I uh, enclosed it. So if you look at the wall here, you can see the little extension that I built. So this area that's up here that you can see, this little squared off section, this was the addition that I built so that, because normally what would happen is before you would go from the garage up three stairs and into the kitchen. So now the way it's set up is you go from, uh, go in this door and now you're inside the house, whereas there was no door there, there was no wall. You would just basically be in the garage, go up three steps into the kitchen where there was a closed door. So anyway, I'm hoping that makes a lot of sense. I knocked a hole in this wall here. There was no hole here, this was a solid wall. So I knocked a hole in it so that I could make him his separate room. So getting back to that, there's a vent coming from the, the house side that actually supplies heat and cold for the dog. There's his doggy door. Down here, you can see him being a big Great Dane, we just fill up his big tote with food and we fill up his bin with water, which needs to be changed as I'm looking at it right now. His bed needs some work too. We have to replace these things. What he's been doing lately is chewing, uh, the mattress up, but you can see um, these things get a lot of abuse, so I'm gonna have to buy another one of these. Thankfully, they're only about 40 bucks, and we end up buying one or two a year. So anyway, typically what I do when I start is I will sweep as much as I can of the dog hair he's shedding, uh, or I'm getting ready for his winter coat. So anyway, um, I clean all this out, clean the room out. One of these days, I'm gonna finish the walls and everything in here, so if it looks a little gross, I apologize. But anyway, it's a dog room, right? <laughs> but anyway, I sweep all this out, and then uh, I have uh, the stuff here that I use, made by Zep. It is a air and fabric odor eliminator, so I will use this, and I will basically spray down his bed, and then flip it over and do the same. And then I will take him outside, give him a bath, and then his room will be nice and clean and ready for him once we're done.
Okay, so now I have my handy dandy shampoo. And I love these things, but these are good for scrubbing and the dirt, you know, in his fur and getting off the excess dead hair and skin when I'm giving him a bath. So now it's that time. So I don't know if he's not coming because he knows it's bath time, but come here, Duke. Bath time. Come on. Come on, buddy. All right, and here he comes. Well, typically what I do, because he's such a big dog, is he will not sleep once. So I have a leash that I use. Come here, Duke. full-time job, I tell you. All right, now we're gonna head outside. Generally what I have to do is tie him to the fence post because he will run out of here. This to me is the worst part. Dogs have anal glands and if you ever notice them chewing at their gland or sliding across the floor, they're trying to express it or squeeze the fluid. Over time they build up with fluid. The anal gland is on either side of his anus. So what I do is I use my hand to express it or squeeze it to express as much of the juices as I can. Sounds gross, and it is, but it's just hard getting him to sit still. If you look, you can see it coming out. And it smells horrible. Ugh.
And the big thing I want you to do on the gland is you want to make sure that you try to get up in there deep. If you've never done it, it could be a little tricky, but uh, it's not hard to do. I think the hardest thing is just having to deal with having that stinky smell on your hands. Come here. doing here is I'm trying to get any excess dog fur that I didn't get. I've got a lot of it. And I've got most of it off. see washing him can be a chore but also can drying him so one of the things I have to do is I have an old workout machine here in the garage as you can see I tie his leash to that so that I can dry him off Normally he likes to play with the towels, but when he can't move that far, he doesn't think about it. But if he didn't have this leash on right now, he would be jumping up and down like it was playtime. And he likes to pull it and run with it. And it's kind of cool, but. some of his dry skin. Sit. All right, say bye. Say bye. <laughs> 